What is up everybody? This is John with Archerfish. I got a special video for you today. I am at possibly one of my favorite lakes of all time in California so far, and that is uh, San Vicente Reservoir down in San Diego. This lake killed for me last year when I couldn't get a bite at Castaic and when the bass were really tough to catch everywhere else. I came down here and this lake was killer. Lots of fish, lots of good fish, bass everywhere. So it's still overcast, so I'm gonna do some uh, jerk bait topwater stuff and I've gotta get on the water right now. It's gonna take a few minutes to get a boat, so I'll see you on the water. Like I said in the intro, I'm at San Vicente Reservoir, one of my favorite lakes from last year. And you can just kind of see why it's uh, gorgeous here. The water's clearer than some of the other lakes, but not the clearest right now. Um, I did see a lot of bass in the marina, kind of nice four or five pounders, all kind of staged up real close to the shore. And it looks like they're picking off uh, bass fry and tiny little bluegill. So that may be the pattern I'm looking for. Um, they said it's been kind of slow and the lake just opened up so i know there's been tons of boat traffic here so and like all the lakes i mean it's steep cliffs and lots and lots of trees and stuff around the whole place we just saw some top water i need to get on that all right still no fish it's about 8 30. uh typically i don't start catching fish in general until the water starts to warm up it gets a little sunnier nine ish uh, and the same is true with this lake. So we will see. I, I've seen a decent, a fair number of uh, big bass. So I'm hoping, and by big, I mean like three, four, five pounders. So I'm hoping, you know, when the sun comes out, maybe they will turn on. I don't know. Um, we will see. I have seen so many big fish in the five, six, seven pound range. They're all guarding fry. And they're very spooky and not interested in anything. That one. Good fish. Off this tree on the drop. Yeah, he just realized he was hooked. So this is where I saw tons of bass earlier. There's a big tree down there. It's a good fish. I'm trying not to let him go into the tree. It's a good fish. Another deep. This is a heavy fish and I got light line on here, so just letting him sort of go a little bit. This is about the size of all the fish I've been seeing. They're not into the Senko at all. All right, first fish of the day, nice chunk. So I realized that uh, by definition, one fish does not fit a pattern at all. But since I was seeing a ton of fish, I drifted this whole bank, saw a ton of good fish about that size, and they would not go after the Senko, the jerk bait, top water, anything. So what I did was I just anchored up in front of this point where I know that there's fish, because I saw a bunch of them over here, at least four or five good fish, and just threw the uh, drop shot out, let it get down deep, Got the uh, morning dawn on there and you know first cast with it and i get a fish so it's a good sign like i said it's not quite a pattern yet but it's a good sign maybe it's just the time of day it's starting to warm up get sunny maybe they're getting hungry you know just got done filming that video saying that one fish doesn't make a pattern i threw the drop shot back in and i get another fish near almost immediately same spot good fish too coming up. Good fish. A little smaller, but still awesome. The two fish does kind of make a pattern. Good little guy.
Another one on the wall, man. A little better line on this one, so hopefully get him out of the tree and fight him. Good fish. Probably about the same as the last last thing. Good fish, wow. Have to net all these babies. This is a northern bass. Look how little the mouth is. Look how chunky this guy is. I mean, it's pretty funny. I was just about to say, I mean, I said it that uh, one bass does not make a pattern and then immediately I catch, you know, three more fish the same way, same spot, same place I'm doing it. So I guess I did find a pattern. Hey, what, boy? So many fish, I could not get them to bite. Through Senkos, every color, top water, jerk baits. As soon as I tie on the drop shot, this is number four, I think. A little smaller, but much smaller. I think it was a fish who wrapped me up, and there was a big one down there. Got one. Ready? It's a little one. This little fish. Hey. <laughs> All right. I'm into Smallsville over here. I do that all the fish I lost the other day and I still force them it was this little fish but still I got to get better with that being consistent all right well no that other color works Wow. First fish on the Sanko. You got me wrapped? Little guy, but hey, I'll take it. Quick release. Right, new spot, a couple more fish hanging around, I can see them down there. All right, that is a wrap from San Vicente. Uh, this is one of my favorite lakes and you see why i mean i always catch fish here even though they said that uh the fishing wasn't all that great you can see the fish and i'm confident when you see the fish you can catch the fish you just got to switch it up now i love throwing the sankos i throw them all the time it is on my mainstay 
Um, but today I could see the fish and they were not going after the Sankos. I mean, lots and lots of good fish, four or five, six pounders, tons of them, and nobody wanted the Sanko. So I switched it up, I did the drop shot, uh, I did mostly points and, and coves where there was a nice uh, secondary point there, a little wind blowing in, and uh, it was very successful. I don't know how many fish I caught, over 10, easy. Uh, last few hours of the day, unfortunately, like the last three hours, I ran out of robo worms, uh, and also I ran out of the little weights, I ran out of everything, because I just don't use them that much. The drop shot is one of the most effective ways to fish, and I hate using it typically, but today it was on fire, and I couldn't get the Sanko bite going, so, you know, as soon as I, I did the drop shot and the robo worm, I was slaying them. Morning Dawn was the color, I did this, uh, the Margarita Mutilator too, and that one worked. Um, and it was just fantastic. So that is it. Find a pattern. Uh, and a pattern is obviously more than one fish. Uh, so yeah, find the pattern and stick to it. I did end up catching one fish on a Senko, but I, I fished the last few hours with just Senkos because I ran out of everything and nothing was going on just like in the morning. So anyway, I did try top water. I did try the jerk bait, did a little bit of everything. There is a uh, little bass boils, you know, very small fish, you know, pounders and stuff like that, but there are a lot of them. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Please subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.